Zendaya has some of the beautifulest face features ever, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and use a lip mask because you guys know I love my liquid lipsticks, but they are never really nice to your lips. So I'm using this Nug lip mask, which is made with coconut oil, shea butter, Irish moss extract, and licorice extract, so it hydrates, smooths, and plumps your lips, and it's 100% natural, which means it's also 100% vegan because the products are all super friendly. And I use this for prepping my lipstick. I really like to make sure that my lips are hydrated and smooth before I even attempt to apply anything on my lips because especially in the winter months, it's just never cute. It's cracked and it's like not pretty. And I also kind of, you can, you can use this as an overnight treatment. I mean, I'm not suggesting that you walk around with a ton of product on your face during the day, but if you're going to bed, pile on that lip mask, go to bed, and when you wake up, you're gonna be ready to apply as much lipstick as you want. Now I'm gonna go on and move on to the eyes. Now eyebrows, oh my gosh, Zendaya's eyebrows are goals, but I'll never attain those goals too high up for me. I can't do that. Anyways, I'm taking the NYX Brow Duo in blonde because I wanted to fill in my brows, but I didn't want them to be too dark. So I'm filling them in the best I can, but I'm not really straying too far away from my natural brow shape. I feel like sometimes when we're copying other like celebrities for their features, sometimes we're kind of crossing the line where we are not really looking like ourselves anymore. Um, and sometimes it doesn't look so natural. And if this is for Valentine's Day or any of those like special days, you really don't want to go too far from your natural face features. So then I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kashuk and Agenda's concealer palette to just clean up my brows a little bit. This is going to just create a nicer, kind of smoother look. Now I'm taking my Master Prime eyeshadow base from Maybelline. To be honest, you don't really need an eyeshadow primer as expensive as this one. It is pretty nice, but you can also get away with the e.l.f. one, I just feel like be honest. <laughs> then I'm taking this Double Dare HD blush from NYX because I saw that her eyeshadow, if the, you look at the thumbnail or the Instagram picture I linked down below, super warm, but I wanted it to be natural and neutral because hers was more neutral. So I went in with a Sonia Kashuk Ion Matte Neutral Palette and I'm going in with this neutral brown just to kind of blend that in to make sure that there's a nice gradient. I want that shadow, but I also didn't really have the color that she was using. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Coming in Latte Palette, which is similar to the one that they had with the Fergie, so I'm not sure if they're the same one. If you have the Fergie one, double check, you might have this color already. But what I do is I take a nice blending brush and kind of really do kind of a halo effect by working on the outside of my eyes. Um, and then I went in with my L'Oreal 207 Pain au Chocolat um, eyeshadow to put that on the center of the lips. It's kind of like a silvery brown, and I just think that these colors look so beautiful together, and I'm trying my best to mimic the eyeshadow she has, so hopefully I did my best. Hopefully it worked out, and I'm using my NYX um, eyebrow mascara just to make sure my eyebrows stay in place, cooling my lashes with my NYX eyelash curler, and then going in with an oldie but a goodie, the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. If you haven't tried this one, I definitely do recommend it. It's so good, guys. I've hated some mascaras lately, but I've gone back to this one. I was like, okay, finally, something that works. And yes, I fell under the pressure of using the Nivea Men for a primer. <laughs> and then I went ahead and wiped away the lip mask. So, you know, now I'm ready for some nice, smooth lips. But um, I had to take a smell of my Nivea Men <laughs> sensitive skin product. You know, it smells delicious. It smells like a boyfriend that you don't have, you know? Hashtag single. Anyways, I'm taking the lightest color in the palette and applying that under my brows to make sure my eyebrows are nice and highlighted. And then I'm going to do a little dance because that's necessary. And I'm taking my Infallible Pro Matte 103 Natural Buff Foundation. Actually matches my uh, <laughs> face, so really great. And I'm actually going to blend this in, but to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this as much as most people are. Um, personally, I just feel like it's too matte for me. I have really dry skin and it just accentuates all my fine lines. So I actually ended up using the NYX HD um, concealer and then the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. And to be honest, those are my favorite like part of my entire look. Um, the foundation was just really not doing it for me. Um, I didn't use powder. I'm a really dry skin person. But the thing is, um, she ended up having matte skin, so that's why I did it. And then I went in with a super dark eyeshadow to just darken up and deepen up that under eye like lash line because it, that's what it seemed in the picture that she had a really like no eyeliner but like a dark lash line. So I decided to kind of just buff that in nicely with a blending brush. But again, um, it's totally your preference if you want to do eyeliner, do it. But I'm just not someone who wants to do like a really dark eyeshadow look. Now I'm gonna go ahead, curl my lashes again just to kind of give them a little bit of plumpness and I could tell she wasn't really wearing false lashes, so I didn't do that. And then I'm taking my contouring palettes in Caramel Toffee and Dulce de Leche from Wet n Wild. And I could not, for the life of me, find my brush. Does this ever happen to you? You're literally sitting in front of all of your makeup and it's nowhere to be found. Nowhere. And 
of course, you have to sing along to Beyonce or Destiny Child. I mean, if you have not while doing your makeup, are you actually doing your makeup? Just just a question out there. Now I'm taking the caramel toffee and I'm taking this powder and oh my gosh it is so powdery you guys. It got all over the place so please be very careful and then you put it on you're like um. I was just feeling like this brush was way too intense so I ended up using very little. It was very pigmented and just using a lot of circular motions to blend that in. Now I'm taking this beautiful um, blush from CoverGirl. It's actually one of my favorites. It's this really pretty, pretty, pretty natural shadow kind of color and then I'm taking a NYX uh, lip liner and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Um, you want to use something that's kind of as close to your natural lip color as possible because I'm going to be using liquid lipstick anyway so it doesn't really matter for me. Now I actually ended up using, <laughs> this is actually pretty ridiculous, um, a bajillion different um, liquid lipsticks or like butter glosses I believe from NYX. I used uh, chocolate crepe, tres leches, and then I also ended up using a Merle Norman uh, liquid lipstick in dashing because I needed something that was like a burnt orange color. I was trying to match her lip color as much as possible. It was pretty much impossible, but if you ended up going to the store and actually picking out a lip color like that, probably would have had better luck than me because I was literally just trying to like mix it together. I felt like a scientist. Um, then I put mascara on my lower lashes and then I'm putting a tissue onto my lips and putting on my NYX HD setting powder just to make sure that the lips are matte because those are like, like kind of lip glosses and I wanted to make sure that um, my lips were matte. So there you go. Just did it a little too much. So be careful. Just you know fix what you need to do and then I'm pretty much done and I'm obsessed with this look because it's super nice and natural and like good for every day but I ended up going in with the champagne shade from CoverGirl and just applying that in the inner corner just fair warning if you want to do this um, people are gonna give you compliments because the eyeshadow look is so pretty and I can't believe it's all drugstore so I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later bye